hi guys welcome back to my channel so I have the Dollar Tree haul that I owed you on this particular day I just got up and I felt like taking a road trip um, I go with how I feel right now I really don't think there's anything in the Dollar Tree streets that warrants a three-hour road trip and when I say three hours I mean round trip okay an hour and a half to Raleigh an hour and a half back however when I go to areas, big areas like Raleigh, I'm not just going to Dollar Tree. They have amazing, much better targets, uh, multiple ones. If I was, let's say, wanted to target hop, um, Ross, they have things that I rarely find. Um, they have the at-home store, which is a dream trip. I've never been, I've seen other halls and walkthroughs. Um, so when I go to Raleigh, restaurants, food, places that are not near me, I can justify driving to Raleigh. But when I go to like um, Emporia VA, which I haven't done in a while, it's really nothing in that area that really, besides Dollar Tree, you know what I mean? So I try to plan my road trips. Like Rocky Mount, I love the Rocky Mount shopping area. They have a lot of stores in that area. There's Burlington, there's Pop Shelf, there's Bill's Outlet. They have a good Walmart. There's a Target there. There's a Five Below there and multiple Dollar Trees. So I try to not just go to Dollar Tree, but on this particular day, I felt like hitting the road. Okay, I haven't talked enough. And I popped into the new to borrow uh, Dollar Tree. It's fairly new. I don't think it's been open quite eight months, maybe, if that, maybe not even that. And the last couple of times that I've been there, it's been like empty. As you can see from the shot with me, the shelves looked kind of stacked. And I will um, put this walkthrough in the comment section because I don't buy everything I see. Sometimes you have regrets. <laughs> like, why didn't you just get it, girl? But it is what it is. This is what I got. So I'm not going to just, I'm just going to go. Not in particular order like, oh, I found this here. I found that there check out the shop with me if you want to know which stores had what and I hope you guys are doing well I actually wanted to do a haul yesterday instead of posting my local truck day finds but after doing three 12 hour overnight shift guys I was dead to the world you feel like a zombie your first day off so you can't even count that as a day off because that's a day of recovery and I was back in my bed I got up I had to do some errands I had to. If I didn't have to do these things, I would not. Did my errands and came right back home. I was in bed, 7 o'clock, knocked out. Okay, so I have to go back to that video because I like to respond to comments that you guys leave me. And um, I did wake up like 1, 2. I responded to some, but then I was back out like a light. And I slept today to almost 10 a.m. I mean, you really need to recover because I really didn't get a lot of sleep Father's Day. We went to breakfast and I did do some rounds afterwards, but then I wanted to come home and cook him something because we had to go back to work that night. He had to work Father's Day, so I wanted to have a cooked meal, you know? So anyway, oh, and I also went to Washington. I was going to go to the Bath and Body Works. That's the next closest Bath and Body Works in Washington, North Carolina. Um, and I didn't even end up going because there's really nothing that I need there either. I really wasn't impressed with the... I'm going to wait and I'll take you guys to the Bath and Body Works outlet because some of you don't live near an outlet store. It's like semi-annual sale all year round and then you see retired scents that you can't find anymore, old favorites. I'd rather, if I'm going to take you guys anywhere, I'd rather wait and go to the outlets. I, when I go to Smithfield Dollar Tree, that was always a must, but since I accumulated a lot of products, I don't even go in that store because I don't want to spend any more money, but I will take you guys soon. So Washington, North Carolina had these really cute bags from um, Full Circle, Zip Tuck reusable bags. And this one says, girls will save the world. Look how cute that is. So it's a bunch of little girls in their superhero capes. So cute. I wish I could have found the large ones of these. Again, I shared with you guys, I will not be using these for food. Now it is two different sizes. It looks like, it looks like this smaller one and the second one is a little bit bigger, but like for my beach bag, I would put a lip gloss in it, uh, maybe a travel size lotion. You know, I think these are good for travel, not food. 
and people ask me all the time why wouldn't you put food in it I know it says BPA free I know it says food safe but before you use them you have to wash them and I did hold some and I washed them to get ready for use using them and it became cloudy and I just a long time to dry and you got to get in there and make sure it's dry because you don't want you know things to grow I just didn't like the way they looked after I washed them it should not have changed appearance if it's clear and shiny now when I wash it why does it look cloudy and all this other stuff I didn't like that so I'm not gonna be bothered all right these gimme hair products have arrived and I know they sell these at Ulta I'm not sure where else but as you can see this large um, claw clip stays in place long hair twist and buns long lasting uh you see the eight dollar tag on the back so i went with this they did have different colors but this you know i'm a leopard girl i won't say necessarily this is leopard but it's a neutral brown color and then they have this like matte black can go with a lot of looks you know when i wear my long hair wigs and i just want to pin them back and then these are bobby pins i don't even own any bobby pins <laughs> so just in case um black bobby pins firm holds holds more retain shape long lasting and says for thick hair somebody else said that they make them for like medium hair and stuff like that listen i don't shop at ulta it's too rich for my blood i just whenever i went there i've spent more money than i wanted to and i wasn't happy with the products like i didn't feel like i got anything better than when i could find at dollar tree and i'm being serious now you may argue well this is better ingredients it's name brand all that I can only tell you my experience so I'm not about paying more money and not being happy and then um, I should have got more because this is what I use to put my ponies my ponies <laughs> uh, this is what I use I get them from Dollar Tree so I was saying to myself girl you should have gotten more I did not um, but I found them locally and I did get more so people rave about these this is the eight times grip infinity bands no snack so I'm happy with the ones at Dollar Tree so I hopefully I like those um, but yeah this is what I use to put my hair in ponies and um, they're just very comfortable and stuff like that so that's what I use on my personal hair from the Dollar Tree so I've never tried those so I'm excited to try those do not waste your money on and I put the receipt in the box y'all okay I'm gonna show you my take back bag what's going back today they're gonna be sick of me but I'm sick of them uh, so this is the copper can copper care helps soothe aches and muscle pains copper compression gloves for hands in the color pink I guess they came out with pink lines for breast cancer month and all the pink products are at Dollar Tree guys these give you no compression whatsoever right and of course they tell you one size fits most they're a joke and that's why their products are at Dollar Tree and if you're watching Copper Care you're a joke stop taking people's money because you suck no compression this looks like uh, I'm ushering in church like you know Easter Sunday the pink Easter gloves that you would wear no compression whatsoever um, yeah nothing this is just a glove and look look at the snags y'all look at the snags Copper Care you're a fraud you're a fraud. So, Copper Care will be going back. Here's my receipt. I put it in the back so I would not lose it. You're going back. Um, while we're talking about health, you know, that's supposed to be like, that's down the health care aisle. They restock these. And with the GI problems I have, you need this. This is Lorperamide. It's the same thing as this the active ingredient in ammonium. These work just as well as the name brand. You're getting 12 caplets. Uh, the best by date is uh, good till March 2027. These come and they go. I have not found the pink pills. And somebody asked me not too long ago, have I seen them lately? The stomach pills that are dupes for the Pepto-Bismol 5-in-1 symptoms. Those are amazing. Gone. When they come in, I rack up, but go on, I haven't seen them. But I did grab one box of these because it's you never know when you're gonna have that emergency. Found some wishless artwork and I didn't know it was two different prints. I seen somebody haul and she found this one. I guess somebody else took the one I'm about to show you. So this one says, love what you do. I love the glam prints. And this one says, be full of joy. 
love these two prints so i was happy shocked gave up on finding them and then i had to bring her home she's absolutely gorgeous if i don't keep her my sister loves this style art you guys know it's a matter of weeks it's a matter of weeks what's today's date is it the 17th or 18th i think today's the 18th they'll be down here the first week in july july 1st they close on their old house and then they're coming straight the pods already been delivered so they're just finishing up packing I don't wish that on anybody because moving is no joke. It took me six months when we re relocated down here to feel like myself again. And I don't know why, because we got like everything brand new. The only furniture that we brought was my bedroom set and um, the couch that folds out that's in the uh, guest bedroom. We didn't bring anything else um, and just clothes. And I bought, mainly bought summer clothes. <laughs> swimsuits i left a lot behind and i'm like i didn't know it got this cold in north carolina because it gets kind of cold down here and my, my main thing was swimming swim bathing suits okay i'm a water baby i love the water maybe today will be a pool day that's the only thing that like keeps me from running to dollar tree is the pool um that's my other love okay but yeah um so it's a matter of weeks. So she may want that print. I think I'm going to throw that in her uh, box. In Washington, I did find one pink liquid blush and I love it. I'm wearing it today, but I'm doing like that ombre blush effect because I've been watching a lot of makeup tutorials and I don't have lashes on because I'm, I plan to go in the pool. Um, but where you put like a, I don't, don't quote me because I'm not um i'm watching the videos okay obviously I, I'm, I'm trying to get help here but it's like they do like an ombre they call it like a sunset effect where you go like from light to dark or do you go from light to dark to light i don't know but i put one dot of the um orange glow and then one dot of the pink and blended it out this stuff blends guys so perfectly i'm like in love i could take a bath in the stuff um i love it i love it i love it so i found this one alone at washington and i will be sharing in an upcoming um giveaway these blushes with you because i have found i have found a supply i won't be out anytime soon and in rocky mount i could not believe that i was still seeing the orange this like they had just got the displays i thought this was long gone because this is not new this has been circulating in the Dollar Tree streets for a couple of months now, but guys, I just, I love it so much. This is my favorite. And combining the two, one dot of this. Now, if you're doing the pink alone, you could use like three, four dots, depending how you want your blush. It's not as pigmented, but this orange glow, baby, don't go crazy because I don't want my, my, my uh, YouTube besties, uh, my cyber besties looking like clowns, okay? You don't have to go too heavy, but I love this guy. I love it. And I'm so happy I found more. When I like something, I go crazy. I do. I do go crazy and I don't like to share. But because I found where I'm comfortable, you know, I am going to be sharing that. Speaking of which, I stopped in a Rocky Mountain location that I normally just pass by. It looks like they have new management. The store looked a little bit cleaner. Yes, there still was a lot of boxes. But it looks like they're trying. And you can't blame the people because how do you expect to unpack a truck that gets like 3,000 cases with two people working at any given time and one of them is the cashier how do you expect it to get done and then you have people coming in they take stuff they drop it they move stuff around i mean it's a vicious cycle that's just how do they expect it to happen but anyway i was surprised they had real techniques i love this stuff guys you guys know i love it i've shared with you i loved it and uh i just was so surprised to find more so these are yours whoever wins the giveaway because a lot of you still can't find them so i'm sharing i'm sharing then i got another one of this lash glue because i've been having problems with the ioni lash glue liners i've had mine for a while now i don't know if there's an expiration date on these items because it's just not sticking the, the lash it's not working anymore so um this works and this holds my lashes if i wanted to i can keep my lashes for two to three days on okay but sometimes i'm tired of them y'all and i just pull them off so um which you shouldn't do it's a process to remove them that's how i lost my natural lashes just pulling them off don't be like me but anyway this is a good lash glue dollar 25 can't beat it just as good as kiss just as good as good as the name brand ones that you find in your beauty supply store 
my local tree sold out of these makeup brushes and these are the bomb.com i love them i use the blush brush to apply the uh, blush the foundation brush i usually use a silicone blender but you know i will use this like for concealer under my eyes or whatever if i want to the powder brush i use good and i have not used the angled concealer brush so i probably should be using this one just because i just it's still in the bag but i started using these three i got to get it out of the bag so this is a repurchase because that's how much i like these brushes and i don't want to be without them so if you see those brushes if you still have an opportunity get them speaking of blush washington still had out the old ioni book of spells makeup bar and i just love this this reminds me of a pink salmon it's like almost like a coral color um these blushes are very popular on TikTok as well, but I am enjoying my liquid blush life. I ordered me some liquid blush from Timo. I actually have two Timo hauls purchased on my dime and a sheen haul coming. And I ordered clothes, y'all. So we're going to see. I ordered some sundresses. I ordered some swim cover-ups because I waited too long for a lot of things. I don't know where my mind was. I knew time was moving fast. I didn't put in my time off request. I wanted to go to New York this month. Uh, I didn't even put in a request off for my birthday. Um, <laughs> I, and I need to remember to put on my request off because we're taking my mother away the last week in August because everybody else put their request in as they should have and they got their vacation request, but the schedule came out and I'm like, oh snap. And our schedules are made for six weeks at a time. So, so, but I wasn't really sweating it because my mother said she wanted to go to New York to see her sisters so I'm saying okay fine I didn't you know I'm not gonna go in June I waited too long we'll go for the last week in August well she wants to go somewhere else now so I still have to squeeze in New York and I don't want to go yes I have off four days a week but they're not always consecutive and not only that I've been there done that last June we went for three days and it felt like a blur I want to go where I have at least a week. I have three grandchildren I want to see. I have girlfriends I would like to see. Um, sites that I, I miss. I miss going to certain places, certain restaurants. So I don't, because it cost us a lot of money just to go for three days. But we were going for a family wedding, you know. But still, if I'm going to spend that money on airfare, I might as well, you know, have time. So your girl mine has been all over the place except where it should have been but I did pick up this blush now there is a video on TikTok where somebody shows how to keep these clothes there is a as beautiful as their packaging is there is an issue with the packaging because you can't keep them closed I gotta go back I think I saved it how she made a way where these will stay closed but they are calling this salmon pink okay it's not me it's not me naming it that um, I didn't know that they had called the salmon pink because I didn't turn it around, but it just looks like such a pretty color and I'm going to be saving this for the fall and I hope that it shows. Their blushes are usually very pigmented. I hope that'll show on my complexion, but I did get it just because it's like an orange tone and I'm into orange blush apparently. That is my thing now. I don't know. I'm sorry. I just want to put it back in the box. While I have it open, let me just swatch it. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. look how pretty that is. But I'm, I was hoping it would be, I don't know. I hope that it shows in my color because by the end of the summer, your girl will be much darker because, uh, you know, I'll be outside in the pool and in the water. Um, so I don't know. Hopefully it'll show. But $1.25, you know, whatever. I'm not upset about it. But let me just put that to the side and hell with it. Okay, so I did find the Angel Magnets. Now, this is just two of them. In an upcoming haul, I found the others locally. So I thought these were so cute. I will not be putting these on my refrigerator. I don't know where I'm going to put these. I don't know if I'm going to keep them as gifts. I really want to keep them because I love them, but I don't do refrigerator magnets. I can't stand and if you do, I'm, you know, that's your house. But when I did my mother's kitchen over for her and uh, I told her the magnets got to go, you know, they got to go. And that was my stipulations. Free labor. Okay. I'm painting your cabinets. I'm helping you spruce up the place. 
this is my one request so so far i have to ask her to she sneak some back on I, t I tell her i have a camera hidden there i don't but i tell her that but look at these guardian angel magnets this says guardian angel home home happiness will always live here then this one is the dieting angel you will resist temptation now this would be a great place to have it on the fridge but i don't do magnets on the fridge I, don't ask me where these are going i thought maybe i could use them in other areas craft with them or something i don't know but they were just too cute to leave behind boring repurchase this has disappeared and it, i seen it on the road i have not seen this locally this is a really good toilet cleaner the lime away thick gel formula so i did grab that um, what I have to do for my patio area, guys, is I had hauled these in Raleigh, these palm tree solar lights. So I'm going to put them along my gate so they'll light up at night. I only got four. I probably should have gotten five, but I'm going to space them out. Wouldn't it be great if I found some flamingo solar lights, which I probably can find on Timu or something like that, but I have to put these out. You see, I put the flowers in the wreath. I love it, love it, love it. What I want to share with you now is my take back bag because I don't want you guys to waste your money, okay? This is a great pressed powder. I love it, I love it, I love it. I actually love the Ioni one that's in the dollhouse makeup bar. You need to try that one as well. But we all know that that's going to go away. But Dollar Tree usually stocks this on a regular basis. The reason why it's in my get back bag is because it's expired it has an expiration date on the back now I don't know the effects of using something expired but I don't want to do that so that's why this is in the get back bag so just pay attention because I have found expired ones in Dollar Tree and brought it to their attention so just if you like this which is awesome I think you should try it. it's a translucent uh, pressed powder and it it has a matte finish sets makeup and control shine love it it's it's the bomb.com however just be aware of that and i went crazy guys this may be an unpopular opinion but i gotta keep it real with you and this is my opinion i have one another one the guru nanda oral rinse it's supposed to, with eight essential oils, three vitamins, no artificial colors or flavors, alcohol free, instantly targets bad breath. It just tastes like water to me. It tasted like fruit flavored water. I don't think, for it to say that it has eight essential oils in it, it just tastes like water. I, I don't know. Have you guys tried it? Do you like it? I bought five of them. I just rather stick to Listerine, you know? So that is why that's in my get back bag on the comments if you guys want me to save one and put it in the monthly wow because you want to try it if you haven't found it i say don't waste your time but i certainly will you know because what i don't like you may like we don't all like the same things you know that's what makes us different but i think it's a waste of money thanks for rocking with your girl if you're new subscribe i'd love to have you for my returning subscribers thanks for coming back i will see you in the next video take care Bye bye